Well, you know, to be honest, like, this is one of those games that had so much hype to it, and, like, you know, Halo 2 left on like, a mean cliffhanger. Like, a really, really mean cliffhanger to just harsh. leave them. It was very harsh. And, like, they had so much anticipation that it was one of those things where I, I don't know how they could fulfill the hype for it. It was one of those things where... It was impossible. Yeah, it was almost... Yeah, yeah, they built it up so much, the fanboys, the community just made it, like, it had to have been the best story ever to meet the kind of expectations. Yeah, that's why no, Bungie these, said that they were crying, like, every day they came back to work because they'd be like, they realized that they've got this monster thing. There's like, it's like not even humanly possible. They own. had to make God into a game. Maybe they, they could Maybe they realized that ahead of time. We're like, you know what? We're just gonna forget about the story. Just make a crap story. And, and make awesome Just make a good multiplayer. But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's but, efforts. Well, <laughs> I mean, what are you supposed to do if like, you're not in a frat or whatever? Like, I play video games because I don't have anything else. I mean, <laughs> because you have to a friend. Because I friends. don't have yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, Halo I, appeals to the, you know, well, or at least that's true. original. Yeah. Too, yeah. Say. Halo sells to people but, who have friends. Right. 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 The yeah. demographic. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> if I had friends, I'd be out, like, playing sports or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's go into multiplayer. Is an improvement from one or two, both? A lot of people were kind of disappointed with Halo 1 because Halo 1 and Halo 2 were kind of like two different games. Halo 1 focused a lot on individual skill, individual talent, with the aiming and the art of strafing and things like that. And then Halo 2, it really slowed things down. With Halo 3, they decided, all right, if all you guys are going to complain here on Bungie.net and say that the game is terrible and the levels don't have the certain type of items that you want and all the different types of games, they're going to give you all these options. I do have a t few problems with the interface. So I mean, they try to make it as simple as possible for people, which yeah. is great. I mean, you have like the four, like maybe four or eight basic lobbies, ranked or social, but it's really infuriating the fact that I just can't find like a capture the flag game. That first night it went up, we had a million people online that night. Yeah. It's, it's a yeah. little, it's a little frustrating to not be able to just say. Hey, I just want to play a uh, big team battle all Slayer and not be able to do that. I came from the PC also, and they're like, this is the best multiplayer game on a console, so I expected PC level customization in my matches, and what I essentially had was matchmaking. Vito, 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 Vito. Yeah, Vito, Vito. <laughs> Every <laughs> fucking time. Hey, can we please veto this? Oh, man. Can we please veto this? Veto it. Yeah, Vito, please. One time That's I went online, insane. there's someone who said, and another person comes and goes, Shut up! Just shut up! And I was like, I love you. I, I want to marry you and have babies with you. The community with the oh, Halo man. 3, um, with, like, you know, playing online on other games, you can expect a certain type of experience, but when you go to Halo 3, you expect verbal berating and you know <laughs> and it and it yeah. ten year olds basically. Yeah, and it, and it you said you said it kinda lessens the fun. You go see a horror, you know that if you're in a bad theater, the crowd's gonna scream things and change your experience of the movie. The same way going into, you know, Halo 3, you play online, you're gonna hear a lot of racial slurs and... Which, so I wait, mean, so you're saying that you wish you had more of that? <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I should clarify. I don't want that. Okay. But I, I, that's, I that's the that. one thing I but you really hated about Halo 2 was that when you got you were, when you were on a team, you heard like, the, like I was like, what is this, like 1920s? Yeah, <laughs> receiving death threats online is never fun. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. What about making them? Making them. <laughs> but unfortunately, my internet kind of sucks, and especially uh, my friends, because my Xbox your has friends been friends kind of suck. My friends' <laughs> internet is kind of is even worse, and my, since my Xbox has been kind of broken, red lights. Oh, I've been man. playing at their place, and um, their internet lags a lot. And whenever it lags out, I lose experience points because the internet sucks, and that just really pisses me off. If I lag out, I'm kind of well, like that's well, not my fault. Like you said, yeah, people but what that are you gonna do? Their yeah, exactly. Those so people like in StarCraft, lost. they did that. They got a disconnect. Yeah, lost. Like, that's, go, that's, unplug that's your no phone. phone. <laughs> yeah, that type of thing. modem. <laughs> that's 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 with Halo, I know the fiction and the whole world of it. So I, I mainly buy it just to see what happens with Master Chief and the, the fight. The, yeah, I just wanted to finish the fight. Here's the, here's the biggest problem. You said that you need to read a book in order to figure out what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a choice. They were all infected. The book was based off the video game? <laughs> I couldn't even really get into the story. I mean, I started really playing Halo games this year. And 
it was really just the gameplay that got me going with it. And I had people really kind of try to explain what the story was about <laughs> after playing it. So what the heck was with the Arbiter? We wanted to kind of see what happened yeah. with the Arbiter. No in Halo 2, you shift, you know, you do these clever, innovative, built him up, uh, basically. The, yeah. the, you know, the camo levels and things like that. But now he's just kind of like this sidekick, like Robin or something yeah. like none that. And, the, and like, the, he does the NPCs they don't, talk to him at all. And yeah, and the, the fact that he's he, later. his story just completely ends. They, they don't... Well, they um, made him and like boss. satiate that yeah. part of the story. <laughs> the shittiest boss battle in, in a game ever. And I think yeah. I was actually I was confused <laughs> when the game ended boss. too. I was like, yeah. oh, it's over. I I beat it. Really? All right, sweet. I guess I'm awesome at life. <laughs> yeah. But it is a lot of fun. I think with like yeah. getting three of your friends mm -hmm. online. Yeah. You know, there are comments the about the things. You know, every time Cortana or the grave mine or whatever that thing's called, everyone would be like, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we want to play. Yeah. Oh. Chief. I can't tell you that at US. It's not safe. The grave mind. Oh, that was annoying. That was like, oh. why can't you, why is yeah. there an option where you can turn that off? <laughs> yeah, that was kind Especially of if we're like replaying through a level and like trying to get some other achievement or something, it keeps on happening. You're just like, oh. All right, Chief. The Ark. There isn't much time. God, yeah. shut See, up, Cortana. I, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I got the sense that Cortana's supposed to be all epic and awesome. Like, I don't know, Galadriel from Lord of the Rings or something. Like, all. Oh. Cortana went from being this, like, sassy advisor to being this emo chick that just, <laughs> <laughs> just kind of pissed you off the whole game. Yeah. Over. And, like, the, I was what, waiting what for something big to happen with her towards the end of the game. Like, yeah. she's gonna no. be bad or just... No, no, definitely not. She obviously really cares about. The product, you know. Um, one thing, well, one in, thing the, I really in the studio, like. they're going independent. They're break. They're mm. they're breaking. Yeah, yeah. Later, Microsoft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. who, who do who does that? But, you know, I think that's pretty. They they want to concentrate on other things besides Bungie or I mean Halo. Yeah, so Halo. that's great. One thing I really liked was the you know being able to save film. Mm -hmm. that you, yeah. can, you can uh, save film that's and upload cool. it and all that kind of stuff. That's actually one of the more innovative things, yeah. I think. And it, yeah, it's just For really sure. cool that it automatically does it, you know? Yeah. Like, because there will always be power users who figure out how to do this stuff, but now they sort of Since, like, they you... hit the lowest common denominator of gamers, and that's what <laughs> that's what Halo 3 is good at doing, essentially. <laughs> Speaking it's of which, like you can what's... actually brag about the cool stuff you did on accident. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's and what's funny. funny. Like, getting a, a message on Xbox and they're like, check out this video where we told the kid your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Which you guys did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's only I wanted to talk about and I know some other people that was the Forge mode. Yeah, and like, Forge. for me, I... I absolutely love it. Like, I think it's an easy, fun way to customize the levels. And like, honestly, when I make levels, usually it's the most douchebag type of level I can think of, where like every single respawn point is like behind a turret, and you're gonna get shot down and die right when you start. Or like, you have teleporters that are like in the ditches, and you automatically teleport everywhere and die. But I mean, it's just so much fun with that mode. And I I enjoyed it a lot, and I love the addition of that. When I think about it, the Halo 3 is kind of like the perfect dark to Goldeneye yeah. of the N64 uh -huh. era. We all sit here and make fun of Halo, but every, every one of us bought it. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I didn't even want to buy Halo, but everyone, <laughs> everyone around me did, and it's like, well, I guess I should buy Halo. Yeah, so we're we're bubble under so peer pressure. Have, yeah. So I can have fun online with my friends again. We know that it was a fantastic game. But overall, do you think that it deserved Game of the Year? If, you, if you're buying the game to play the campaign and only the campaign, kind of like me, then maybe not, you know, but, you know, if you want to play just the, you know, multiplayer, I don't know. But no, but how can it make Game of the Year if well, it, it, like, be the best game of the year if it's only, only half the game is awesome. Yeah. You know, if the, if the whole single player campaign is shit like we've been talking. Yeah, but then what about games that are only campaign, right? Then how can they ever deserve Game but of the Year if... If that's the main thing that they right. focused on, then you gotta look at that. I don't know. I'm I gonna mean, say, like, overall, like, as a package, though, I really... Like, I enjoyed it as much as I've griped on it, but I still... I don't think it deserves Game of the Year at all. I think there are better games out there. With being the biggest media release in history of media, it's definitely a contender for Game of the Year, but, um... It'll be a contender. It's, All gonna be, it's gonna be hard. I guess it just ultimately depends on your criteria for judging a game of the year. If you're judging it based on uh, how 
big of an impact it yeah. had on gaming culture, games, you know, the market, like everything like that. Mm-hmm. It, it's definitely probably going to have the biggest effect on you the industry. You got to talk about new flavor. Well, that just has exactly. to do with marketing and money. Just well, how that, much well, money well that's the thing. thing. So that's what I'm that saying. Where does the criteria, way, you know, if you're going on like this game had a giant impact on the industry and, you know, what what people do when they make games and what they make with it and how they sell it to people, then, you know, I would say yes. Halo 3 definitely It's It's great. Cake. It's great that it's brought so many people into video games who maybe wouldn't have played it, but what I hope yeah. is that people will take their love for Halo and go check out the other stuff, the other nominees for Game of the Year. The big thing at the end is, his name's John. <laughs> <laughs>